Hi people, one month left till right across Britain and I decided to make this video to cover how I will be preparing my bike for the ride and what stuff I will be taking with me. For those who don't know, Ride Across Britain is an annual ride which goes from Land's End in the south of the island and finishing at John O'Groats in the north of the island. So in nine days you cover 980 miles with the total climb of 15,000 meters, which is almost twice the height of the Everest. So exciting. By the way, I will include the links to the websites of all components I'm talking about in the description to this video. Right, let me do a quick bike check before I start describing what, I, what parts I will be changing on it. So I have a titanium road bike. The frame is custom made by the Russian brand called Triton Bikes. These guys are amazing. Just look at the quality of the welds. I've been using this bike for the last two years. It's a very comfortable bike, gives a very smooth and fast ride. And the frame is quite stiff, which I like as well. Um, I built it on SRAM Red ETAP group set. Uh, I have carbon wheels, uh, rims made by Light Bicycle. Hubs are carbon T, very light. Uh, the saddle I have is made by the Russian brand called Bjorn. It's fully carbon, it's just 95 grams. These guys make amazing saddles which are light and comfortable as well. Uh, I have titanium stem and carbon Deta Superleggera handlebars. Now let me talk you through the modifications I will be making on the bike. Now as you may know from my previous video, I broke my collarbone about three weeks ago and the ride is in one month's time. It's not enough time for full recovery, so I started searching on the ways how I can smoothen my ride, how uh, can I make the ride more comfortable for my shoulder, uh, especially with the bridge roads, which are not pretty good. And so I found this stem. This is Redshift Sports suspension stem. I first was pretty skeptical about suspension stems but then I read some really good reviews and people are happy with it so I thought this is the perfect thing for my shoulder and for my collarbone uh, this stem has several different elastomers dep depending on your body weight and uh, depending on how smooth you want the ride to be and how much flex you want so I thought I'll, I'll give it a try. I think that's exactly what I need. Again, this stem is on a heavier side, so it will add about 150 grams on the front of my bike. I also bought a, a computer mount for it, for my Garmin, which looks like that. Pretty cool design, similar to other brands. Looks cool. And because it's a one southern mile ride, uh, you will be spending nine days in the saddle. And while I like uh, beyond saddles and this will be my go-to saddle if I want to build light and comfortable bike um, I decided to for that specific ride I decided to replace it with specialized power arc saddle with Elastone. It's quite heavy it's 2.5 times heavier than this saddle but um, I thought for that ride comfort is more important than weight. Next because it's quite a hilly ride, I thought I'll replace my cassette, which is 1129, with something even wider. Um, because I have a Campagnolo drive shell, there are not too many options and Campagnolo don't make light, wide cassettes. Um, but there are other brands on the market which make pretty light cassettes for Campagnolo drive shells. And Edco is one of them. This is Edco Monoblock cassette, which is 1132, very wide range for road bikes. And the weight of the whole cassette, because it's made of one piece CNC machined, is just 212 grams, which is very light and lighter than uh, Campagnolo Super Record in 1129. Now, last but not least, I will put a fresh pair of tires. This is Schwalbe 28mm Pro 1 tires, tubeless tires. I have exactly the same tires. I've been using them for one year and a half. I never had any punctures which sealant couldn't fix, which is great. Um, great set of tires, fast, reliable, 
so I'll just put the same. Now just one last thing. I really wanted to put this aerobars on my handlebar, but unfortunately they are not allowed. And I wanted to use them not really for the speed, but for the comfort and for just different position on a long ride. But unfortunately you can't use them. So that's it about bike modifications. I will obviously clean the chain. I'll probably replace the bearings, make sure that uh, brake pads are in, in a good condition. And here we go, ready for the ride. Let me also show you what I have in my saddle tool roll. Obviously I have tire levers. I have silk torque wrench, very small, compact, light, really love it. I have CO2 container. I also have a spare SRAM e tab battery. I also have the chain breaker. And I have this. This is a tubo liter uh, tube. It's 23 grams. So obviously I have tubeless tires, but you never know what can happen. If it's a big hole, I'd rather have a spare tube with me. Now it's time to see what I have in my luggage. Obviously I will have jerseys and bibs, etc. So I will skip this step and only show some additional stuff I'm taking with me. All right, let's check what I have here. First and the most important thing is your sleeping bag. I have c 2 Simon SP2. Next one thing you will need is your mat. Um, again, I have c 2 Simon. I love the, this brand. I love the products they make. Uh, this is also ultralight version because I'm using this stuff for my bike packing. Small but very important thing is this pillow. This is again c 2 Simon brand. Next, because I will be making videos while I'm there, or at least I'm hoping so, uh, to keep you guys entertained. Um, therefore, I'll be taking my Sony camera, which I'm filming on, and I'll be taking my DJI Mavic Air. Very small, really love this stuff. Um, my GoPro. And I have this bag. Uh, it's from Swift, Swift Industries. You can put it on the handlebars, like here, or you can use it as a bum bag. Pretty cool. And that's where I'm planning to put my camera if it starts raining or where I can put my drone on a ride. Another important thing, the headlamp. I have Petzl Arctic Core, which you can charge from external charger or from USB. And for that, I have also external battery. Another piece of kit that you will need is the lights. I, I quite like Knog and I'm using their lights. I'm not sure whether I will take this stuff and maybe guys leave your comments below this video to say whether I will need it or not. But this is a small lock, just in case, I don't know. I know the areas with the bikes will be protected, but some extra security. That's it. Hope you liked the video. Uh, I forgot to mention one thing. I'm doing this ride across Britain, taking this challenge in memory of my dad, Igor, who died from cancer in 2017. And I'm also raising money for Cancer Research UK. So if you want to support me and this charity, the donation link is in the description. Thank you.